So Jimmy Butler, the only All-Star who didn't play last night, after the game he said, quote, just needed rest, man. Got to be ready for the season. TMPCD. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I've never have, seen that before in my I, life. I have one of you who is okay with Jimmy Butler saying this and one of you who is not. Who would like the floor first? I'll take it. <laughs> oh, go ahead. I'm cool because... Actually, I, you know what? Let me go first. Okay, you, then, yeah. Because then you, right, can, you go you ahead. Tell me why I'm wrong. <laughs> I like Jimmy it's Butler Monday. a lot. I like I like Jimmy Butler a lot, and I understand what he's saying because they've got still got some season to go. Minnesota hasn't. Really, they got a chance to move up to three. There's a lot of things to play for. But my thing is this: he didn't just find out that morning that he was going to need rest, right? He knew for a while. If he had said something earlier, make up an injury, anything. I feel like they could have given a spot to somebody else. Not saying that he's not an all-star, but, you know, much like Kevin Love is an all-star, but he's sitting on the bench, didn't have to do anything. Same thing. Jimmy could have done that. And somebody who, <clears throat> someone like Lou Chris Will, Paul. Lou Will, Chris Paul, Chris Paul, guys who deserve to be there or would have loved to be there. I, I, I'd say Lou because Lou's never been an all-star game. Yeah. Right. And that would have been nice for Lou to be there. And Jimmy could rest and, and still participate in all the other activities. Now, you... I was going to say the same thing now. You know how I feel about Lou Williams. That's right. my little brother. I wanted to see him there more than anybody. Right. So I agree with you on that. So I kinda, I'm kind of on both sides because I understand Jimmy would want to win. Right. You know, and, and be ready for the bigger picture. Sure, sure. You know, this, it, it's great to be at the All-Star game. It's not his first go-around. Okay. Right. You know, Ex but he owe more to his organization and his teammates, Rachel. Right? Yeah. So I understand that. No, I, I agree with you on that. But explain something to me because mm -hmm. I do not play professional basketball. Every single guy on that floor is trying to make some sort of run in the second or last no part of the season. You're talking about the Timberwolves did play late. They played Thursday night, which was the latest set of games going into the All-Star break. But they still are going to have five or six days off. Does playing a few minutes of an All-Star game make that much of a difference Tips or not? Tips is close, so you're out of uh, well, You know, for, for certain I mean, people, I'm not, I'm not, you're right. You're right. I'm asking. It, it, like, five, I don't that's know. five days off. That's a long time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And for some people. Play like six minutes of basketball? Some people, that's too much rest. Right. You know what I mean? But... Like I said, I have to respect it, knowing how much he gives to the game. He does. And knowing how, how important he is to his team. If it comes from a guy like that, you kind of got to respect and it. And he is playing on a team where they play a tremendous amount, yeah, amount of minutes, of minutes for the right. starters. So we do have to remember that.